Good evening, everybody. This is Brenda. Hope you're all having a good evening. As per promise, I am here to give you a flip through of our Easter journal that we have been working on. So we have a nine by six collaged cover. I did the collaging. That's what it looks like, all beautiful and collaged. We have a um, one and a half inch spine and it is covered with a um, beautiful vintage uh, table scarf with some hand embroidery up here in the corner. And I did add a little bit of vintage fabric down here um, to uh, counteract all the, you know, the whiteness of the, of the tablecloth. Um, it is a one signature and it is a removable signature. And on the front here in a see-through pocket, we have a, a very vintage Easter card from 1912. And that is um, a used postcard. So that fits right in the front and it is removable, of course, so you can add other things if you wish. That goes right in there and I tuck it right under the, the little lace there. Okay, so on the inside, we have a book plate on Florentine paper. We have some vintage fabric on the um, inside spine. And like I said, this is a removable signature. Um, on the, uh, the first part of this, and I think we did quite a bit of this together. Um, this is an envelope uh, signature. And um, the first envelope that we have here is uh, from 1943. This is a vintage Easter card in the envelope. It is the original. And we have a closure here that might be stuck. It shouldn't be, but it might be. There we go. And this was the original Easter card. And that too has some beautiful embroidery. I'm sorry, it's a birthday card. This was a birthday card, but I thought it looked very Eastery. I remember that now, but this embroidery is absolutely beautiful. And it does say happy birthday. And it is a used vintage card, 1943. Love that, it's so beautiful. So that was the original card and that fits right in here. And I am using uh, Rachel's from Roxy Creations, her digi kit. She has a few digital kits, so I'm not sure which one this is. We have a pocket here. This is an altered envelope pocket. We have a card, journal card in the little pocket. And up here we have in the larger pocket, a tag that we made together. This is the fabric, um, printing on fabric um, video tutorial that we did together. And that's a little writing card on the back. That fits right in here. And on the side, we have a journaling card. So we have a side tuck spot. We have this on some beautiful coffee dyed um, writing paper. I think we did this pocket together and this is um, a pocket that has a, yes, this is from the kit. This is a journaling card two cute little girls with a bunny and on the back I did want some writing space so I just glued some very vintage paper to the back 
love that. I love black and white. So that goes right in this pocket here. We have some vintage music paper. And in here we have just a little ta a little fold, folio or whatever you want to call it. And um, I put some um, embellishments in the pocket and a few more embellishments in the back two pockets. I don't remember where I got this from, but it is it is the cutest little uh, little tablet or folio. So that tucks right in there. This is a fold out page. This is um, a digital of um, a very old book page from Rachel. This is some um, grid paper, very vintage grid paper here. Some of the digital. Over here we have another little pocket that I made and inside we have just a little uh, secret writing space right here. That's what the pocket looks like. Kind of dark in here this evening, isn't it? And um, again, up here, I just put a few embellishments for anyone to play with. More of the digital, absolutely love. This is um, Florentine, some Florentine paper, which folds out. Lots more writing space, like so. More of the grid, the other side of the grid paper. This is a, a journaling card for more writing. That fits right down in here. Other side of the music paper. Here we have like a library pocket, sort of pocket that has been decorated with some of Rachel's um, fussy cuts. And a big tag for writing part of the um, Easter digital kit, and that has writing space on the back. There we go, some more of the writing paper, some more of the digital. This one I think we did together. This is the one of the envelopes that uh, put, to, that is with the signature. And I can't remember what I put inside. What did we put in here? Oh, this is um, another little folio uh, with writing on the inside. Just a little folder with writing. Pretty paper. And here, in here we have um, this little envelope came from the kit and I just left this open so you could write on the inside too. Lots of secret writing space in this journal. I like secret writing areas. So that tucks right in there. I know it does because I got it out of there. Whoops. There we go. And that was right in here, fit perfectly in this tall envelope. More of the beautiful Digi kit. And this is a vellum pocket front, which I think we did together. And um, this is another tag that I made from the digital kit. That fits right in there. Isn't that paper so beautiful? I love that kit. Um, this is a vintage book page. I'm not sure where I got this one, but I know it's a vintage. I don't know. This is some um, journaling. Uh, looks like uh, like debit credit sort of journaling paper. Love that, that's pretty. Sales journal, it says right there, the sales journal paper. Some more of the kit. Coffee dyed um, lace paper, 
this is the middle of the signature. That's where you can um, remove it from. Some more of the digital, some more of the journaling paper, cash receipt paper, another. I'm not sure what this uh, language is here. Not sure, but it is a foreign language. This pocket, I don't think we did on um, on video. And I made this tag to go with, I think we made the tag together though on video, if I remember right. So I made this tag to go with this pocket. I think we did do that one together. Um, this was a, a vellum front or uh, what is that paper? The see-through paper. Why do things disappear when I'm doing a video? <laughs> it's the, uh, I can't remember, but anyway, it's like vellum, but it's not vellum. But you do see through it. So I made this, I made a few of those. Got some more here. Tracing paper. I knew it would come to me. Just It just takes a minute. <laughs> Tracing paper there on the front. I might not have had vellum or something. I don't know. But inside is another little secret writing area. And that opens up for you to write. And that slides right in there. More of the beautiful digital. This is the um, see-through envelope that I made. Um, and inside here, I have another postcard that, um, I'm not sure the date on this one. Let me see if I can see it. No, I don't see a date on this one. It is vintage. I guarantee it's vintage. <laughs> it's very pretty. It's like a telegram postcard. That slides beautifully right in our little envelope here. This envelope I feel we made together. And that this just has a, a little uh, journaling card on the inside. And that slides right in there. And this comes down and I had this little clip on here just to hold it, hold the flap down. This was collaged on, and I didn't do, um, I only collage. I think it was like a wrap over collage here. And I didn't want to go further over because this makes a good writing spot here. We have some more of the beautiful digital uh, vintage letter, a uh, copy of a vintage letter. And in here we have tucked this beautiful little bluebird, some more writing space. Just a little writing area uh, folder. Love that. So cute. Um, this is the other part of that, the other book page. Not sure what language it is. This is Digi from the kit. This is the pocket that uh, we didn't uh, get to to make together. I just finished that up off camera and that's and these are a couple of journaling um journaling cards that came in the kit so i stuck those in here another foreign book page this is the other side of that vintage letter and in here i have again some secret writing space and that's just a you know a long tablet and that folds into here and is held together with this little paper clip and tucked right in here this we made together i i feel like we did make this together this is an over the page 
it was a folded um, um i took one of those long envelopes folded it in half um cut out the side and made a little tuck spot in the tuck spot i have these um vintage campbell soup kids aren't they adorable 1983 the campbell's uh campbell's collection I have a bunch of these cards so i tucked a couple right in here on that page and then on the other side is the other part of the flip and the optimist campbell's little girl so cute she slides right in here on this envelope here this was the last one in our envelope signatures and um let's see we start we almost decorated this on camera but we decided or i decided not to and this is this is just a I think, oh yeah, this is some vintage paper, uh, stationary paper that I stuck in there for some more writing. And I will put that back later. And that's the other side of our um, last envelope. And the back cover, love that. And this is from Rachel's collection of um, foreign book pages love it so that is the flip through of our easter journal love the way it came out it was so fun to create and i think i told you everything i think there's um hmm i do i i have this seam binding for a closure that goes with it um i think there's about there's 68 plus pages and I think I went through everything. If you have any questions, you can definitely comment b below. And I will um, get back to you as soon as possible. Whoops, take that off. This just ties around. So I think I will um, be putting this in my Etsy shop by the weekend. It will be in there. So... Other than that, if you have any questions, comment below. Thank you so much for visiting and uh, looking through my Easter uh, journal. Uh, I hope you have a beautiful weekend that's coming up. Stay healthy, stay blessed, um, and definitely stay safe. So, guys, thanks a lot for stopping by. Thank you for everything, your comments, your subscriptions, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.